Okay, great news. I got my wheel lock NS working. I had previously said in another video that it wasn't working. I thought the horn was broken because I had bought it off of eBay, off of SVC store. Some other people had bought some stuff off there and said it didn't work. Um, every time I'd power the horn, it would just make it click and then stop. Um, at first I thought it was because I was underpowering it, but I found out that that was not the case. Uh, so I, I actually wanted to send it back. I, I uh, wrote them an email, told them about it, and they said, we'll refund you the money, but they said they have no use for it, so they, don't, they just told me I could keep it. Um, so I found out today that it actually works. It was all because of a mistake on my part. I was wiring it wrong. I thought you could wire the horn separately, just like you can wire the strobe and the horn separately. I wasn't powering the strobe. I was just powering the horn just to test it, and it wasn't working. So today I had an idea, um, I, I wired it together like it should be, and lo and behold, it works great. So I got a free wheel lock NS off of eBay. Um, so without further ado, here's the test. Well, actually, uh, it's running on code 3 on high volume, uh, so here we go. It's really loud. I'm bringing the camera outside just so you can see how loud it is from outside. Now the reason why the strobe was only flashing at one one flash for two seconds is because I'm underpowering it. Um, I'm powering it from just two 9 volt batteries at 18 volts DC. I would have powered it with three, but one of my 9 volt batteries just decided to commit suicide. So, uh, anyway, there's a test of my now functional Wheelock NS.